hello welcome back to another video of java programming language now we are discussing about the java while loop we already discussed about java while loop in the definition also discuss about the flowchart and given one simple example of the while loop okay now we'll discuss about another example of uh, java while loop and then if time permits in this video we'll discuss about the infinite while loop okay so in our previous video in our previous video we have seen this particular example where we have printed the each iteration of a while loop from 1 to 5 okay if we'll try to do the same operation and if we'll try to print using the 0 then you will get then you will get the result six times so let me compile it and if you'll run it you will get six times it will include zero so that's why you have to remember that uh, the condition uh, if you are starting from zero then you don't need to do this particular equal operator otherwise it will go till five so this one is called the op by arrow so remember if you were starting from one then and if you have to give it uh, equal sign if you want to run it for the five times now in this video we'll discuss about one more example of a while loop in a next example we will discuss about the while loop to find the sum of the number from 1 to 10 so for that what you have to do you just have to declare one another variable that is the integer summation sum and you can initialize it with a zero value and inside the for loop uh, inside the while loop what you have to do you just have to do one operation so and the operation will be sum equals to sum plus sum plus i variable okay so you can do this and after that if you want to print the summation you have to take it you have to take it the printout statement outside of the loop because otherwise it will show you each and every steps okay the value of sum on each every each and every step but we don't want that we want to print it after the calculation is over so for that what you have to do instead of i you can just put the summation over here you can uh, give a summation is and then you can give a colon and then you put the variable name and remember that if you want to print from if you want to uh, add or sum from 1 to 10 then you have to change the condition and it will be from 1 to 10 and you have to give the equal sign over here okay so this part initialize the sum variable and it is starting from one this uh, loop it is loop to add number from one to ten and this particular part is what is doing add the current number to the sum variable and it is the increment part and after that we are printing it so this particular line the sum variable keeps track of the running total of a number and the while loop runs as long as the number is less than or equal to zero and each time through the loop sum will be add to the current value of the number to the sum and the loop stops when the number that means number here i exceeds 10 and final sum will be printed by this line okay so let me save it and let me compile it and then i'll just print it you can see that summation is 55 okay so in the similar fashion you can do it for the multiplication as well if you want to do a multiplication from 1 to 10 then you can just have to change this particular symbol and instead of zero you have to give here one okay otherwise it will uh, each and every time it will be zero so let me compile it and let me run it so as you can see this one is the, our output so by this way um, you can do a simple operations using the while loop so if you have any question regarding this particular video or the session you can write it in the comment section i'll try to solve your problem as soon as possible so see you in the next one till then take care bye bye